How do you think Hyperledger will change the industries that adopt the technology? So in the internet era, uh, we as, as technologists have gotten really good at building big central databases and big central services, right? Think about the move to the cloud. The move to the cloud wasn't a move to, you know, a really dispersed, diffused, decentralized kind of system. It often meant a move to one company's servers, right? Uh, or one company's products, right? Uh, and I feel like today the internet is more decentralized, or more centralized than it used to be, right? And that decentralized systems tend to grow quicker. They tend to be more adaptable. Um, that nature looks a little bit more decentralized, right? And for businesses, I think um, you often don't want to be just sitting on the outside as a satellite on another centralized uh, business, right? Um, everyone would want to be the Uber of this or the Uber of that. Well, that's great for Uber and, and its investors. It's not so great when you're sitting on the outside, right? Um, so a lot of industries kind of want, don't want to see their own industry move into that centralized approach. <clears throat> and uh, I, typically today, to be able to facilitate that, they have lots of point-to-point -point integrations, right? Something like Hyperledger offers the potential for integration of an industry at a time, right, into a, a system that can not only become a system of record for recording transactions between parties in a, in a network, in a marketplace, um, but also allow for the automation of a whole bunch of business processes through the use of smart contracts, right? And in a permission ledger, you, you still have an organization that acts somewhat like the referee on a football field, right? Sets the rules of the game, watches how players play, um, and if somebody acts out of turn, even if the technology allows it, uh, uh, if they violate the, the, the spirit of the contract, so to speak, or the human conditions, then the referee can kick them out. And by the way, if the referee does their job poorly, the two teams can kick the referee out, right? So this type of governance mechanism for something like a football game, right, is actually not too far from the kind of governance mechanisms that many industries deploy today, right? With tech distributed ledger technologies like Hyperledger, we can actually have the information systems work and look a lot more like the way that the business processes look and work, especially in a more decentralized setting. We can avoid the over-centralization of industries and the over-centralization of society through the use of these technologies. Thank you.